Everybody talks about decarbonization, and rightly so. But they also say that times are uncertain. In Wärtsele, we see it a bit differently. Certainties do exist, and we are prepared to advise our key stakeholders on the best way forward for them. One reason why we are able to do so is our track record in innovation. From LNG to methanol, we have a history of delivering industry firsts. And in 2021, we will have an engine running on ammonia. At Wärtsilab, we believe that fuel flexibility will be key to decarbonizing maritime. At this moment, final preparations are made before we start running the engine beside me on a fuel mix containing ammonia. Together with our partners Repsol, Knutsen OAS, Equinor and Sustainable Energy Catapult, we are conducting the world's first full-scale development and test program for an ammonia-driven combustion engine. Next door, right here in Vasa, we are preparing to test another very promising green fuel, hydrogen. This way, we are making sure that alternative fuel technologies are ready for our customers well in advance of the markets and infrastructure required. This summer, another test engine will be moved from Vasa to Stolt for an extensive test period. Here we will continue to introduce more and more ammonia into the fuel mix. The combustion engines offers enormous potential for rapid carbon emission reduction. Fuel flexible engine technology provides an upgrade path for existing and new vessels, from transition fuels to green fuels. This R&D project can bring carbon free energy production to shipping in a matter of just three to four years. Decarbonization of the maritime sector requires cross collaboration among industry players with complementary competence. The SEEDS initiative is a true example of such collaboration where we look at the complete ecosystem of infrastructure and clean energy supply to the offshore and maritime sector. For GRIG, being part of SEEDS has demonstrated the power of working decarbonization strategies jointly with other industry players. Investing in alternative fuels is a short-term decision with a long-term benefits. It can drastically reduce the emission already today while also providing a head start towards complete decarbonization. Since 2019, the SEED concept has expanded into several concrete work streams, including Grig Edge and Watzlatt's program to launch the world's first green ammonia fuel tanker coming out in 2024. The MS Green Ammonia will be utilized for transportation of green ammonia from a production plant in Berlevog in the north of Norway to various locations and end users along the Norwegian coast. The action is on.